Hi there, it's Jennifer Trask, and today we are talking about how to feel good about receiving money for your coaching services. Um, so I decided to do this video because I talked to a lot of coaches, and whenever I give them this example, there it's like this weight tends to come off their shoulders, and I think it's just because they haven't looked at it from this angle before. So I wanted to give you this example that I tend to give a lot of people, something really simple to help you see the value in your coaching. So um, there's something in, in the business world that we call price just juxtaposition. And essentially, it's like understanding, like I could spend my money on this or I could spend my money on that. And one of the things I always tell my coaches is, you know, if somebody works with you and they actually do the work, like you can change the course of their life. Like you'll bring more happiness to them, more health, more vitality, more joy, more fun. Like these are things you can't even put a price on that coaches actually do for people. And so I would say to people, like if you have, say, I don't know, a two, three, five thousand dollar course, you know, every year households tend to spend that much money or more on a vacation that lasts them for about a week or two weeks. Whereas this year they could decide to take that money and invest it with you and potentially change the trajectory of their life, bringing more happiness to them and their family and their friends, etc. So I think it's really important for you to recognize that, you know, people spend money on all kinds of stuff. Um, there are people in the world who are going to pay 100, 200 grand for a purse. There are people who are going to pay that much for a vacation. Um, they'll pay lots of money for electronics. Like, like there's just so many experiences and so many things you can spend your money on. And I think it's really important to be able to recognize um, how valuable your coaching can be when someone chooses to invest their money in you versus something else, whatever that is for them. So an exercise that I would like for you to do is to just write out how valuable your coaching is and how you change someone's life and think about people you've already worked with and what's happened as a result and try to put money on that. You can't, you can't because the, the intangible valuable assets that come out of coaching with someone um, usually tends to be emotion and health and, and all these things and, and you just, there's no price tag that you can put on that stuff, right? It's just, it's amazing. So by doing this list of all the amazing things that you bring to your clients, I want you to realize, oh my God, like that is worth not going on a vacation or that is worth not upgrading the siding on the house this year or like, you know, whatever people spend their two, five, 10 grand on. Because most of the time people do have the money, they're just spending it in other ways. Or if they actually don't have the money, if they're driven enough, they'll go find the money, right? Um, but I, I wanted to give you this example so that you can feel good about asking for the money and recognizing what its worth is, um, which really, quite frankly, it's invaluable. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, um, please like give it a like or thumbs up or share it with your friends. I would really love that. Um, also, comment on the blog and let me know if this was helpful for you um, because I find uh, a lot of people, if they haven't thought about it in this way, um, it really does help when you, real, when you put it against other things that are of the same uh, monetary value and the end output that they're going to get. So thanks so much and we'll see you next week.